so hello welcome to stage 42 the gear lever uh, now I have a confession to make um, I sat down and I batch filmed these uh, meaning that I filmed one after the other with the intention of, uh, uh, of, of compiling them and then putting them out one a week I sat down and I did I'd already done issue 41 last week um, but I'd done uh, 43 44 45 not realizing that I hadn't done 42 um, so you may notice a couple of little flashes of things that you haven't seen built don't worry about it they will be built in the next three weeks also what I'm building this week as you can understand won't actually be on the model for the next three weeks if that makes sense so you'll see me building it today then it will disappear for three weeks then it will just suddenly jump back at issue 46 uh, I do apologize I could have taken everything apart but there's an awful lot of screwing into plastic and you know my thoughts on removing screws from plastic um, so let's see how I got on So this is stage 42, uh, it's called the gear lever, uh, but we will be doing a little bit on the uh, caravan as well. Uh, so let's go through our parts. So we have uh, 42, I'm really tweezers for this, 42A, oh this is rubber, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, this is the gear lever base, uh, 42B is, look at that. This is the gear lever. This is the old fashioned way just to stick with a ball on the top. Um, you could, I think, you could unscrew those and buy custom gear levers, uh, gear knobs. I've uh, been doing that for years. Um, then we have 42C. This is plastic. This is the gear lever base bracket. Um, so there we go. Uh, 42D. Uh, this is the gear lever knob ah so this is the knob uh, right so that's just basically it's a round stick round ball it's really hard to see really really fiddly parts this week in fact I'm going to keep them in the tray because you can see the risk of them falling uh, falling off my desk and then lastly we have 42 E and this is very tiny this is the heater lever so this is obviously how you turn the heater on and off no fancy flicks on the uh, switches on the um, on the dashboard you had levers back in those days um, and we will finish that off with uh, CP 1.7 by 4 millimeter screws there are three of those and lastly EP screws 1.7 by 2.5 millimeter washer screws um, one two six so um, don't know why this six but that's fine so first of all what we need to do stay step one and I've lost it there we go step one we've got three stage process uh, we need to take this uh, part uh, let me just sorry my instructions uh, one bad thing about this build is there's no magazines with it you download off the internet so I am reading off the screen uh, so we need to pass the gear lever which is this piece up through the holder 42A which is this one and now I understand where the the uh, the knob comes in and we finish that off with the the knob and this does not say anything about gluing um, and in fact actually it is a good push fit connection I suppose you could glue that on if you wanted um, I don't think it's going to need it um, so the next step is that we are going to 
uh, pass this up through you see there's a hole there and there's the hole in the actual inside and this is going to go through there like so and I can see that there are two screw holes there and you see there's two holes there and that's going to go in through there ah now because it's rubber I think this wants to go through you've got to kind of push that in there and it doesn't want to go easily so it might be easier to pull it up through with some tweezers so I'm actually going to take this gear lever knob off um, so it's a good job I didn't glue the uh, the knob on and that will just enable me to be a little bit firmer I won't I nearly said rougher um, there we go there we go so I wanted to push that through so maybe if the instructions could be rewritten I would have actually said to pop that in first then you can pop this gear lever through like so and then holding the bottom we can then pop the gear knob on the top and it is going to be harder to push it on there we go so I'm holding at the bottom giving that firm push look at that beautiful first second third fourth no would that be first second third fourth I don't think it would have had a fifth gear in those days and then reverse would probably be towards you and back I don't know um, but that's <laughs> that's that anyway so lastly for this particular ste uh, step we want to take uh, this piece which is piece uh, C uh, the base bracket now you see you've got a circular bit in the middle that's going upwards and that's going to be quite tricky to put in uh, we need to secure that with two CP screws never get just the right amount of screws out um, so I'm going to suggest what we what we will do is we will pop our screw onto the screwdriver feed our screw through yeah see you've got this recess there um, in fact actually it might be easier to use tweezers as well so holding in my left hand with the tweezers and then we're aiming we're aiming for that let's see if my aim is very good no it's not it's terrible and I think that's going to be the only way we can really do it let's try it without putting the screw in first yeah you can see I've moved the gear lever there we go so we've got all these lined up hold that down once we get this first one in I suspect it'll be so much oh that's gone in fantastic and making sure it's still lined up adjusting as necessary we pop the second one in and don't want to push too hard because obviously this hole inside is is, uh, is is only plastic but look at that I'm really happy with that so it does actually oh now I don't know if this is design fault you see how it does lift up um, I would imagine if you used it properly it's not going to move you know it's not going to be too bad but yeah look there's the gear anyway I'm really happy with that really really happy with that so that's the gear gear stick done so the next stage uh, we have just a small piece to do on the caravan now I keep saying this um, but I'm really enjoying this because you do have um, little pieces to do here and there um, so this is the uh, the window did I mention the window I did not mention the window in the parts check I do apologize this is 42 F 
this is the right caravan window um, now on the real thing this would be a rubber seal around glass this is plastic um, it's painted plastic um, but what we're going to do for stage five is we're going to be placing this you see you've got four screw holes one two three four now this looks like it's going to be quite ugly and you see you've got these obvious tabs showing but this is an outer wall and I believe there will be an inner wall going in as well so this will actually be covered up in a later issue and um, yep they did give us five six screws but we only need four of them so I do like when we have leftover washer screws um, because washer screws do come in handy in other projects now normally I say just pop these plastic screws in just enough to bite um, but these aren't actually screwing screws um, they're just there just to having said that this is not going in um, but these are just designed just to hold things into place rather than actually screwing two things together there we go um, so all we need to do is just place these screws in and it really is a good secure fit even without the screws so we just need to just screw that in until there's no movement on the window which to be fair there isn't a lot of movement on the window anyway and pop the last screw in now there we go so checking the window no nope. Well, there's a little bit of movement on the top so we can now just fine tune that perfect so now we have a window look at that that little black beading I think it's just really set that caravan off um, so there we go guys that is it um, so we have completed a caravan window which looks smashing and we have completed the the gear stick which again I'm very happy with so that's it for this issue um, I'd hopefully I'd be really honored if you could join me for um, uh, for the next issue now the next three issues we're going a little bit colorful um, so hopefully you'll join me to find out exactly what I mean by that Take care, guys. Bye-bye.